that has led you to this exact second in time. Hello everybody, welcome. I am your host Dylan G, and today I will be continuing from my previous video on my top 10 most anticipated games of 2015 slash 2016. And before we begin, I would just like to thank you guys so much for the awesome feedback in part 1. You all are truly amazing and it means so much to get that great support from you. So here we go, let's get into it. Part 2, starting off at number 6, we got Deuce X Mankind Divided. Okay, so this is an upcoming cyberpunk themed action RPG game in the Deuce X series. It is being developed by Idols Montreal and will be published by Square Enix. It is a sequel to Deuce X Human Revolution but will take place before the events. So let's get to the setting and plot here guys. Um, Deuce X Mankind Divided is set 2 years after Human Revolution in 2029. Adam Jensen is faced with the aftermath of the AUG incident and the impact of his decision on how to resolve it. He feels as though the choice he made resulted in failure. Following Hugh Darrell's hijacking of the bioship signal, augmented people across the world were forced to violently attack those around them. The public is outraged by this event and therefore aggressively opposed mechanical augmentation. This results in a divided world where mechanically augmented humans are forced separately from non-augmented ones. So there's a brief backline story of it guys. I myself have never gotten the opportunity to play Human Revolution, but from just looking at the gameplay here, this game actually does look really good. Um, so it comes out 2016, there you have it. Number 7, Fallout 4. Alright, I think we're all familiar with this one. This will be the fifth major installment in the Fallout series and will be released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One as you saw on November 10th, 2015. So let's get to the gameplay here. It's 200 years after a nuclear war. Fallout 4 is set in a post-apocalyptic Boston in which the player character emerges from an underground bunker known as a vault. Gameplay will be similar to Fallout 3. Completing quest and acquiring experience will level up your character, allowing for new abilities. With an optional first or third person view, players can explore Fallout 4's open world setting at will, allowing non-linear gameplay. Additional party members can accompany the player who will assist them in battles. Players have the ability to construct and deconstruct buildings and items and use them to build a settlement which can attract and inhabit other non-playable characters. So. This game was rumored several times prior to the game, um, prior to the announcement, and it's finally here. We got a legit release date, and I'm so hyped for this, I'm, as I'm sure most of you are as well. I'm a big fan of the Fallout series and just cannot wait till we get our hands on this. So, there you have it, our number 7 on the list. Number 8, Dishonored 2. If you're a fan of stealthy games, this will be perfect for you. They did such a great job with the first Dishonored and I just cannot wait to see what they do with this one. From the looks of it, this looks absolutely amazing, but that's just me, um, you guys be the judge of that. Anyways, let's get to the gameplay. After playing as Empress Emily during the prologue of the game, players can decide whether to play as her or Corvo, respectfully the princess and the protogonist from Dishonored 1. Players can also choose whether or not to play stealthy, and can finish the game without killing. The developers have stated that there will be a third path, although its purpose for now is unknown. Like in the original game, the player works to save the Emperor of the Isles, but from an otherworldly usurper. Corvo and Emily will each undergo the same set of missions, although both will have different perspectives, react and execute it differently, which allows for higher replay value. So there you have it guys. This game looks absolutely incredible and just again cannot wait for all these games to come out. They all look just too good. 
and um, look at those graphics guys incredible but there you have it number eight on our list number nine home front the revolution Okay, so this is an upcoming open world first person shooter in development by Damn Buster Studios and will be published by Deep Silver. And of course, this is a sequel to Homefront. So let's get to the plot, guys. Um, Homefront The Revolution is set in 2029, two years after the events of Homefront and four years into the invasion of the United States by the Greater Korean Republic, aka the GKR. The GKR has lost the western states which also include Hawaii and Alaska to the Americans following the Battle of San Francisco. However, the GKR has shifted their control to invade and capture many of the eastern states with Philadelphia being their central base. The new Philadelphia is a heavy, polished and oppressed environment with people living in fear as the Korean People's Army patrol multiple districts in the city. In the city, a second rebellion is brewing and the resistance grows stronger being led by Dana, the resistance leader. So there you go guys, Homefront, the sequel to the OG one. And again, I'm, I'm always a fan of these first person shooters, I love them all. And it looks like this one's going to have a great campaign and hopefully the multiplayer will be really good as well. So there you have it guys, number 9 on the list. Number 10, Black Ops 3. Oh yeah, my personal favorite, I'm pretty sure 100% that all of you know what this one's all about, but I'll kind of give you a brief breakdown. So, the campaign, multiplayer, and the zombies mode of Black Ops have been overhauled. The campaign supports a 4 player co-op gameplay, a customizable soldier whose gender can be selected by players, and more open arena gameplay that allows people to use multiple ways to complete levels. The multiplayer introduces a new movement system. A new class system called Specialist where players can pick from 9 different soldiers with different abilities and a new gunsmith feature that allows for weapon customization combinations and also a camo designer. Zombies mode also returns. Zombies will contain story and multiple modes both of which featuring a new XP pro progress system. Shadows of Evil was revealed as a new map for the zombies mode on July 9th at San Diego Comic Con. So there we go guys, Black Ops 3, and I'm going to be grinding so many videos when this comes out. And there you have it, that is our number 10 on my list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and um, I hope you guys agree with this list, because it's uh, it was really hard breaking it down. But Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a dislike, and if you feel like I missed any games, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys um what you guys are looking forward to all your games and it's really really late right now guys it's like two o'clock in the morning i really wanted to finish this video and get it done so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to become an official g thank you so much for watching peace out